Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome back. Uh, we are going to start a discussion on ergonomic assessment tools for postural analysis. So uh, we were discussing topic 1-2 that is work posture under physical ergonomics that is our module 1. <coughs> And in part C of this lecture, we will discuss first of our postural assessment tools, that is OVACO Working Posture Analysis System or OVAS for simple. So we can classify postural assessment methods into two categories, the subjective methods and objective methods. Subjective methods are mostly qualitative. Uh, they are uh, have a question like yes, no, uh, on sort of ordinal scale. And you can find examples of such methods from, from the textbook by, by Bridger as well as the book by Eastman Kotek Company and other books as well. Uh, we will focus on objective methods uh, or the quantitative methods more and we will discuss three tools for postural analysis. WACO Working Posture Analysis System or WAS, Rapid Upper Limb Assessment or RULA for short and Rapid Entire Body Assessment or VIVA for short. So in this segment, we will focus on WAS. Uh, one more point I would mention here is that uh, these two are, uh, these two are event driven Postural assessment tools and OVAS is time driven. Now, time driven means we generally observe a snapshot posture uh, in, in this case, in event driven. Time driven means we observe series of postures and make a cross assessment or cross analysis. So, I repeat that time driven. Posture assessment tools like OVAS are time driven. We observe series of postures and make a cross assessment and overall picture of the posture is obtained. And in, in event driven tools, we, we focus at one specific posture at one time and analyze that posture in detail. So these tools are more sensitive. A slight change in posture can change the score but these time-driven tools are uh, more generalizable. So the results are more generalizable. So in OVAS, we are having uh, four postures for back, three postures for, for arms, and uh, seven postures for legs. So we are focusing on three body parts, the back, arms and legs, plus the fourth factor is the weight. And that weight has three categories. So evaluation of posture is done at uh, regular intervals. As I mentioned that uh, observations are taken in series, similar to work sampling that we discussed. And the whole body posture is described by these body parts with a four digit code to describe uh, various postures of the back, upper limbs, lower limbs, and force needed. So we assign, for each posture, we assign a digit to back, arms, legs, and weight, and we ultimately get a four-digit uh, uh, code, something like this. So finally, whatever score we, we obtain for a posture, that is converted into any of the four ordinal scale action categories. So we can convert score for any posture in, in either of the four, four categories. These categories are ordinal by scale. So we rank uh, the seriousness or severity of a posture uh, using these scale action categories. So as I mentioned that the trunk or back posture can have either of the four scores. So first we have the neutral posture. So the trunk is straight. You can see in this case, so the score assigned is one. The score assigned will be one, as you can see here. So straight or upright posture, if there is forward bend, forward bending like this, 
at some angle the score is assigned to if the posture is straight but there is some uh, the some twisting front is straight but there is some twisting the score is 3 and if both bending and twisting are, are there i mean 2 and 3 both are there bending at some angle as well as twisting the score is 4 and you can see that we are not mentioning the angle here we are just saying bending forward so if bending is there 30 degree score will be 2 if it is at 60 degree score will be 2 and so on and same about twisting we are not mentioning the twist angle whatever is the angle the score will be 3 so that is why these are uh, time driven tools we are going to uh, deduce a, a broader idea about the about the postures so here are the examples neutral posture forward bending so score of 2 uh, twisting so score of 3 bending and twisting score of 4 arm posture has three scores so again the neutral posture here is defined as uh, the both arms are below shoulder height so that is in this case in avas the neutral posture score will be one if one arm is above above shoulder you can see this arm the score will be two and if both arms are above shoulder the score will be three so here you can see both arms are below shoulder score is one one arm is above shoulder score is 2, both arms are above shoulder, score is 3. Then we have legs or lower body, it has 7 categories. So for just sitting posture like in seat, score is 1, standing and weight on both legs and knees straight, normal standing, score is 2, standing but weight is on one leg but knees are straight, score is 3 standing weight on two legs but knees are bent score is 4 standing weight on one leg knees are bent score is 5 kneeling one or two knees touching the ground score is 6 and walking and moving score is 7 here are an, here are examples so this person is sitting in the seat so score for the legs will be uh, one here you can see the weight is on both legs these are straight score is two weight on one leg you can see weight is on this leg not on this leg but knees are straight score is three weight on two legs but knees are bent so in this case sorry uh, in this case knees are bent but uh, weight is on both legs so that is score is four and five Weight is on one leg, in this case the forward leg, on this leg. And these are also bent, score is 5. You can see this person is kneeling, touching uh, the knees on the, on the ground, score is 6. And this person is walking and moving, so score is 7. So final score is a 4 uh, digit score. So for example, score 4161 means uh, the trunk is bending and twisting. Score of one for arms mean, uh, uh, sorry, this scenario, both arms are below shoulder. And score of six for legs means the kneeling. And one means the load is less than 10 kilograms. So, for example, if a poacher has a score two, one, two, one, so two for back, one for arms, two for legs, and one for weight. And I, I forgot to mention that if the weight of the weight of force is less than 10 kg score is one. Between 10 and 20 kg score is two, and greater than 20 kg score is three. And this is the posture number seven that we are observing. So that is wiping. So you can mention the posture number as well. So this is the score for the posture and this is the posture number. So this is the posture that we are observing. So back is bent forward, arms, both arms are below shoulder. 
and standing with both knees, uh, uh, both legs straight, and the weight is less than 10 kg. So there are four action categories. Action category one is normal and neutral posture. So no problem with such posture. Category two means that uh, there is some harm that can be caused to the musculoskeletal system. So corrective actions required in near future. Action category three means posture do have harmful effect on the musculoskeletal system and corrective action should be done as soon as possible. And fourth is the most severe case, the fourth category and posture can cause very harmful effect on the musculoskeletal system and change or corrective actions are required immediately. So these are four ordinal scales. So where do we get these scales from? Well, we get these uh, categories from this table. For example, if uh, the back has a score of three, arms have a score of two, uh, legs, for example, have a score of five and load handled, is less than uh, one, uh, less than 10 kilograms, it will have a score of one. So the action category will be just crossing these rows and columns so that will be action category four. So from this table, you can uh, find the action category. Now, how to present the data? There are different ways. So one way is to categorize the posture according to action categories and see what percentage of postures are in category one, what percentage in category two, three, and four. So simple percentage can be used. And further in each category, you can further differentiate the postures that are there. So again, four digits show the specific posture. So one, three, two, one means one is a score for trunk. Three for arm, two for legs, and one for one for the weight or load. So you can, for example, classify again according to the action categories. In this case, uh, we have uh, summarized the posture that are in action category four. So in department or task uh, one, for example, there are eleven posture that are in category four. In second task, there are two posters in category four. In, in third task, there are 13 posters in category four. And out of these 11, three are posters. Four, one, four, one, six posters are four, one, six, one, two, four, two, six, one, and two, four, one, six, one, and so on. Again, four is the score of your trunk or back, one for arms, four for legs, and one for load. So you can further analyze uh, these postures in each department or task. So you can easily see that this task, uh, this posture actually is held more frequently than others. 